Sports. sports.
Welcome to Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Title Town, some call it, a moniker that many claim, but this city lives thanks to the Alabama Crimson Tide. Today, a couple of SEC teams get ready to square off in what ought to be an old-fashioned slobber knocker. As we'll see, the Arkansas Razorbacks taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the Alabama Crimson Tide. 48 Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started.
on this campus, the legends literally cement their handprints on the legacy just a few steps away from Brian Denny. Welcome to Tuscaloosa, Alabama, where legends are made and titles are won. Bryant Denny Stadium, home of the Alabama Crimson Tide. What we have in store for you today, a clash between a couple of SEC teams that could have season-long ramifications. As we'll see, the Arkansas Razorbacks taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the Alabama Crimson Tide. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. Underwhelming start as the kickoff goes out of bounds. The officials offer the deal and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Bunch formation for these receivers. From the gun, the ground game. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Guys, this rough start is hardly what they had in mind to start SEC play, and it's not going to get any easier. Well, no doubt about it, there were big expectations surrounding this program inside SEC play this year, and things haven't necessarily gone their way. They've had to fight a ton of adversity, but David, they believe they have the leadership in the locker room to turn it around, but it's got to start today. Yeah, one at a time. Like, we got to start today. we got to find something. we got to find what we're really good at, what we can hang our hat on so we can start to build some momentum throughout the season. Obviously not the start we wanted, but we got to point to the next opportunity. Ready up. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. They'll give it to the back. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but we're down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games. They tend to turn into bigger runs. Didn't get much on first down in second and nine. Looking to throw, it's green. Gets it out quickly. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down mark. You complete some of these hitch throws early, you're setting up the hitch and go. Later on, you can pump fake that, and then the receiver can pirouette right up the sideline. That might be a home run play for the offense. Better find the air blocked. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. He'll keep it on the sneak. wants to establish an aggressive identity. They'll go for it on fourth down. And the Razorbacks brought to the ground, but not before picking up the first. Well, no mystery there. Fourth and inches. Hand it off. Keep the drive alive. The Razorbacks are flying down the field. 
Takes a handoff. It's Jackson. Just buys that little Travis, and he's still up. The stop is made, but this offense is threatening. First and goal from the nine. You've got to be loving what you're seeing from your offense here on the opening drive of this game. They're in a really nice rhythm. They've got real good balance going on right now, and they've got the defense on their heels. This offense trying to quiet the crowd on first and goal, and they are not cooperating. They'll try to get it in with the run. Snowed under after a pickup of two. They'll mark it at the eight. zone to the left. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It's looking like they're going to have to try to throw this one into the end zone here on third down, David. Quarterback's got to be careful. Can't get greedy because you know these windows, they close fast. Extremely tight windows. Find your big body guys that you know can win in contested situations here on third down. You can't hear yourself think on third and goal. Looking for a man. It's Green. Trying to get to it. And the ball's out there after it. Defense falls on the ball. Going to be a turnover. As a defensive guy, you chase, chase, chase. And you always want to get to the quarterback. Want to make it a little better? Get to him and cause that fumble. Man, there's nothing wrong. First down here for the offense. Touch pass on the jet sweep. It's these little moments like that that can help an offense as he gets it up to the 16-yard line. How many ways can I make you think, right? First drive, out the games, give it to my playmaker, going full speed across the formation with a touch pass. You better be able to adjust it. And when you adjust to it, I'm going to have an adjustment to your adjustment because I'm always right. I'm an offensive guy. You know, defensively, you live by the blitz and you die by the blitz. That time, they dialed it up into the run play and the linebacker able to make a nice tackle. You've got a third and manageable, backed up in your own end, but convert here and you get some momentum. Trying to impose their will with the run. Tough sliding in there. Picks up a couple, but still needs two more on fourth down. Well, we knew this offense came into this one wanting to establish the run on their first three plays of the game in their own end. Run, 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 but they don't pick up the first down. Now, it'll be interesting to see if they continue running the football their next time out. On the return, it's Anthony. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. Send that offense back onto the field. That fumble in plus territory just ruined that last drive, David. Yeah, and those are frustrating when you got the offense moving a little bit and you put that thing on the deck, Jesse. But move on, reload. And they got him. They'll get him down for the sack. And it is hardly a big surprise that this Alabama defense is hitting hard and making their presence felt in the backfield. Yeah, it's what they built their brand on. They built it on physicality and stopping the run. And, and you've seen over the last several years, too. After they do that, they come after your quarterback, and they try to get that sucker on the ground. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete and fourth down's coming. This QB already in the first quarter has taken some serious punishment. He got sacked a bunch, got hit a bunch. He's been, he's been targeted a lot. This offense needs to find some answers before we're going to be looking at his backup playing some serious snaps. And the Razorbacks will bring the punt team onto the field. 
Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Here comes that Alabama offense. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on the field. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. Yeah, and a really good job by the defender. Understanding the ball's coming. I got to break on it and go. And not try to intercept it and make a bad play. He swats it down and makes sure that's an incompletion. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. And that's just a great job by the defense shutting down that jet sweep. You see the team speed they have on defense. They are willing and ready and able to go sideline to sideline with anybody in the country. And the punt team able to smack him to the ground. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Paul. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. Right back to the well. Stop is made at the 36, but he picked up 10 on that one and has a fresh set of downs. Going to the ground is what the Razorbacks love to do to move those chains with guys like Peyton Hillis and Darren McFadden. Yeah, and you think of just Felix Jones along with the same era, just guys that toted the rock with some physicality, just tough guys that, that make you bring your lunch. When you want to come tackle them, you better bring them. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. First down, physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football and create balance. And, and right here, just chews up another first down. Gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it. And right now, he's doing some damage on this defense. We'll start the quarter offense, about to snap it on second down. They'll leave it with the lone back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, they're trying to get that run play going to the outside, but it's the defensive end who does a great job winning his one-on-one -on -one and forcing the negative play. This crowd knows when to bring it. the gun they'll run it inside brought down to the ground but he has enough for the first down and i don't care if i get it by two by 20 by 30 by 40 i just i just want to get the first down understanding the situation understanding where the sticks are doesn't have to be sexy but i gotta make sure i get to that stick get to the first down mark here it is trying to bash it forward he got a couple it's down at the 11. Zone here on second down. They'll leave it with him. Pull down after picking up five to the six yard line. I think you run that play so you stay out of third and long. Third and long is not where an offense ever wants to thrive. Third and be hey, I'm good with that. So you run that play to make sure you're set up for a good third. Scanning the field, it's green. They're bringing heat. 
And the quarterback goes knocked down back at the 13. But for this defense, finally, you're seeing pressure on the quarterback. They're outside the top 50 in sacks per game. They've been waiting to find some more consistent pressure to help them win games. And they're getting it in this game now. Three sacks on the day. They're just simply winning and doing a better job executing up front at the point of attack. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. The tied offense rolls onto the field. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Now the play fake. Unloads to the wide out. And a flag comes in as this one falls incomplete. Let's see what the call is. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Ready. Offense gets set for second down. Single, single. Wide receiver shows motion. They'll try to outflank him with the jet sweep. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. And I think in today's era of college football, we get enamored with the jet sweep. It's exciting. You're getting this wide receiver involved in the run game. But sometimes it's just better to go old school and just run the football conventionally north-south. And the running game has been disastrous on the last couple of plays. They'll try to salvage the drive on third down. Getting some heat. They get to him as he throws. That pass is well off target. He got hit as he was trying to throw, and they can't convert on third down. Looks as if the Tide will punt it away. Three and out. They got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. A low line drive and not his best work. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. find a way to open this always a welcome play for the defense as they get a sack at the 47 the defense just simply not fooled by the play action oftentimes in offense you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers but man oh man they had their ears pinned back back to pass it's green coming after him escapes the sack quarterback now on the run still looking continues to fight for yards they bring him down but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down he does a really good job here you want to get a huge play you've got to push the ball down the field you need a bunch of yards but wait a minute now he can just tuck it scramble go get you a bunch of yards now put you in a great third down situation real heads up play by the quarterback decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down The play action fake. Feeling some heat. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. Tell you what, I don't know if the offense was expecting man coverage that time. Third and long in field goal range, you're expecting it to be zone. Instead, they lock him up man to man, everybody on an island, everybody won. They get the incompletion now setting up for it. Oh, and the attempt is no good. Guys, a missed opportunity there. The lead is still three. Here comes that Alabama offense. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of there, you know what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They've got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. 
motion from the offense. They'll throw it on first down. Looking to take a shot. And the DB forcing the incomplete pass with the deflection. Really nice play by the defender. Being in a good position for that deep ball down the field. Not let the receiver put his big body on him. Go up over top. The only thing that could have been better is that thing tipped to another defender. And it was an interception. But great coverage by the defender. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. We saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. Now facing a third and long. Off the play fake. Fires left. Ooh, got his man. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. And listen, the defense knew coming into this one they were going to target him early and often. He is a weapon, and there's no mystery where the quarterback's going to be looking on critical down and distances. Let's see how they're able to cover him throughout the rest of this game. Yeah, and the number one thing you want to do with a jet sweep is make that thing bounce, right? Don't let it get outside right now. Make that thing go east-west, not north-south. Great job by the defense being ready for that jet sweep. And here comes the offense on second down. Looking to throw, it's Milrow. Pressure coming. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? And the offense got themselves in a tough situation. Third and long, so hard to execute, especially when the field starts to shrink. But the good news is they got a field goal in their back pocket. Not a chance. Missed it. And after the miss, they're still down by a field goal. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. We talk about settling for points, but sometimes when you have to settle for nothing, David, it can be demoralizing. Yeah, and it can definitely be frustrating. And I think it leads you to say, maybe I'd go for it more. But Jesse, I think this offense just needs to put another drive together and just finish strong. Yeah, and, and be a little bit less predictable, too, especially as they get closer and closer down to the... He lost it high and deep down the left side. And the ball is caught! Inside the 35. This first half of offense won't go on the highlight reel so far. But starting to get things moving, it's first and ten. He's got him wide open. And he takes it all the way. They couldn't stop him. Touchdown, Arkansas! This offense is high octane, boy. You just saw it. Not a lot of time needed for them to go all the way and score six. Well done. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they top it off with a 31-yard toss for six. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. The tied offense rolls onto the field. Running out of time here in the first half, and they do have a chance to make this a one-possession game. And so you got to locate your best players and get them the football on this drive. You're down in the game. He's going for it all. And that ball is hauled in inside the 35. And he ran away from the defense now. whole team like the comeback is more than on now like they got the touchdown they cut into the lead you, you want to get a stop and go into the half get all the juices all the excitement and be like listen the passing game's rolling we got this the comeback's in full effect and the PAT will draw them one point closer that kind of drive will boost your confidence one play hit the big pass put a touchdown on the board On the move from inside is five. And the coverage team able to wrestle him down. Dogs 
send that offense back onto the field. They took their time out of the game, but now starting to try to take control of this game on offense. Turns it on down the left side. The 30. He's at the 10. And he got away from the defense and takes it in. Touchdown, Razorbacks. And this receiver is on fire. He's got all the skills that you look for in a big-time target. And that's already his second touchdown of the game. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Dynamite matchup this week, fellas. Let's show you what's going down. Utah State has the lead right now. Logan has been jumping all week. But this game is hardly over. There is time left on that clock. They're up by seven over Ohio. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected. Fellas, thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Throws to the wideout. Oh, what a grab by the defense. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. I tell you what, it puts you in a tough position when you're backed up inside your own 20 trying to come out. But when you're a defense and you can force a turnover and you already set your offense up in scoring position, they are going to be extremely happy, and that offensive coordinator is going to look extremely smart. Couldn't ask for better field position for this offense. To the air, it's green. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. You know, it's difficult for QB sometimes when you're throwing to your running backs because they're not receivers. You really got to be perfect with the ball placement. You got to make that a catchable throw. A little bit too tough for the RB on that. Second down after that incompletion. Looking to throw. They're setting up the screen. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. And he didn't get a big game. You, you want to call that play and probably want to get more yards, but you could tell that was super close from seriously busting loose. Nice job running the screen, getting the ball to your playmaker. If you could just make one more guy miss, that might have been huge. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. I think to be a good third down offense, guys, you've got to be able to run the football. You're going to come upon these third and short situations multiple times throughout the course of the year, but you've got to be able to get push up front, and it helps when you have the talent like that to turn around and hand the football off to. The Razorbacks trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Arkansas! They've got the lead and trying to put this one in a hammerlock here in week 10. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. And it'll come out to the 25, no attempt at a return. comes that Alabama offense after giving up that score. Now it's incumbent on this offense to kind of get a back and forth going, Jesse, in this game. They got to put some points on the board here. There's obviously a lot of football to go, so it's not necessarily panic time just yet, but I'm getting the ball into the hands of my best playmakers on this drive. I hear you, Jesse, but not panic time. Have you seen my defense? Uh, I mean, I'm not trusting them to get a lot of stops, so it puts a lot of pressure on this offense. Fires to the wideout. And it's intercepted. A turnover for the defense. And they come up with a big play to make sure no more points go on the board before the end of the half. And this is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision making. One more snap coming before halftime. Looking to go up top on first down. 
Ball in the air. Intercepted. And the defender is tackled, and that's how we'll run out the first half. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. And the Razorbacks will kick it away first, and we'll start the second half. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. The tied offense rolls onto the field. When you're facing a deficit like this one to start the second half, you really can't afford to waste a single possession. Fresh start here in the second half is the only way you can look at this if you're on offense. Things did not go your way there in the first half. It starts with one play. To get our confidence going, we just got to get going for the big play. And they can't make the connection going for a big play on first down. This defense is heating up. They got an interception in the last possession. You can tell breaking on the football really, really well. Seeing where the quarterback's throwing it, going to try to get it. Got another hand on it. Almost had another interception. Unloads to the wideout. And it's picked off for the third time today. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. Well, that's the second pick in as many series now for this quarterback. But, David, I, I love the defense right now and the way they're reading and reacting to all these route concepts. I mean, they are all over these guys on the back end. All over the field, making plays. Listen, you, you're supposed to see the quarterback break on the football. You've seen several breaks on the football. Your job is to know what the offense does really, really well. And you can tell this defense is dialed in, and they'll know exactly what this offense wants to accomplish. After the nine-yard pickup on first down, here's second and one. Easy. On the move, it's Jackson. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. You know, you start day one of training camp running your base runs. You need a few yards, you run these plays. You need a first down, you run these plays. You rep them over and over and over again. Not sexy, not pretty, but in the end, they're effective, and they get you that new set of downs when you need them. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. I like the idea on offense. You want to get this guy the football in as many ways as possible. So you throw him the screen quickly to see if he can make somebody miss. It doesn't work there, but that should not be the last time you run that play. Here comes the offense on second down. Grab behind the line. It's Johnson. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Great play by the quarterback. He was just way too physical at the point of attack. He beat his man trying to block him, and he tackled that receiver on the screen. Radio. Here they come, facing third and long from the 20. Dropping back, it's Green. <laughs> And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Third and long situation. They try to go screen. I think they were hoping it was going to be a big zone and they could get those offensive linemen down the field. But the defense sniffed it out, forcing the incompletion. No, oh, no good. Had a chance to make this lead 20, but we're still sitting on a 17. Here comes that Alabama offense. Mistakes are going to happen, as they did on that last drive. Now, how will they respond, Jesse? And this is the kind of guy who's going to take full accountability. That was my bad. That's on me. I'm about to lead this offense now down the field to score some points. Dang, Palmer. I wish I would have played with you. I didn't play with many quarterbacks that were just like, yeah, my bad. Hey, guys, I got this. Sorry about that. It was more, you should have had a better route. They had the perfect play to open the drive, and now they'll snap it again from the 38. Fast motion from the offense. Pocket starts to collapse. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. 
And finally, the defense is able to get some pressure on this quarterback. They've been trying all game long in different ways to affect him. Weren't able to get there. But on that play, because of the pressure, it affected his accuracy. That's why the ball falls in. Using his leg to taint. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. This has got to be disappointing if you're the offense, guys. You were expecting to have a lot of success running the ball, especially against this defense, which has struggled so much this season, but just nothing doing. They have not been good enough in the trenches so far. Back to throw. It's Milrow. They're trying to get to it. That pass not close as he got drilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. The Crimson Tide will bring the punt team on the field. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. A low line drive and short kick. That's where they'll mark it down, and the next snap will come from just inside the 30-yard line. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your sails. Drive the ball down the field and miss the field goal, David. You know what? Don't leave it up to kickers. Execute better offensively. I think you move the ball nice. you got to keep that in mind. But Palmer, I think you got to stay aggressive and don't settle for field goals. Yeah, because you got to know there's just no margin for error right now. You just have got to be able to execute it. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Scrambling away. Got out of trouble, got rid of it. Makes the grab, it's hot. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're gonna bring out the chains to measure this one. They knew they could slip that tight end behind the backers with that play action fake. Well, it's because I can't win, Reese. I, I have to play the run. You know, all these RPOs, all these different things, I it makes me come up and use my eyes and play run. And these tight ends are so valuable to find space behind. Knew where he was going with the football the whole time because the big fella, he's always open. The Razorbacks have it with a first and ten. On the ground, it's Jackson. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And a great job by the linebacker. You can tell, starting to crowd the line of scrimmage, get up there in the line of scrimmage, see it, diagnose it, get in the backfield, get the running back on the ground for the tackle for the loss. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. They'll go right back to the run. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. Man, who says you can't run up the middle anymore, right? Everybody thinks, I got to make big plays. I got to go way out to the left, way out to the right, way out in space. Nope, right down the middle. Nice blocking. How about the running back? You could tell the speed, the wheels, does a great job getting down the field, making a huge rushing play. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. They thought maybe they could get the defense flowing the wrong way on the counter, but they were not fooled. Get them flowing one way, and then maybe hit that outside on the other side, right? But they didn't even let it get outside. They kept it right in the middle of the field. Did a great job seeing it, going and getting it, being aggressive. You gotta find a different way, maybe, to attack these guys to use their speed against them. And as he throws, nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. Gets it to the back. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. You gotta love that. On defense, one of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. whoop de doo You set up fourth and long. You're gonna get the ball back. Go get some water and sell it. The tied offense rolls onto the field. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. 
no doubt to it. Don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. To the air. It's Milrow. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. And the defense at this point understands that the offense is going to have to try to throw the football, all right? They already got a lead, so they're now pinning their ears back and getting after this guy, trying to get him to the ground. And this offense is desperate to keep this drive alive, trailing by multiple possessions, and it's getting late. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Oh, he wants it all. And the DB right with him to knock it away. Well, after struggling so much in the first half, you thought they would have made some adjustments here at halftime to see if they can open up this passing game. But early on in the second half, you're just not really able to get that done. Incompletion on third down in your own end. You're expecting them to punt. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. last time David and it's important to put that punt behind you it's, it's over let it go get back to what you were doing that built this lead point. yeah and defense obviously they won a few downs uh, that last drive so we've got to put them on their heels here maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen picked up two yards on that last one they need eight on second down he's looking to throw he got a hand in there, knocks it away, incomplete. Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy's had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision-making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. Here they come, facing third and long from the 40. Wants to throw, it's green. Going downfield for the big play. And the deep shot is complete inside the 35-yard line. It's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work as well. And the Razorbacks come to the line with a new set of downs. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Got six on first down, now a lot of options on second and four. They're testing the right side here, and this one will be stopped for no gain. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. Try to get the first through the air. Caught over the middle. It's Anthony. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. He's been so locked in, it seems like any pass called is a guaranteed chunk play. Yeah, and in winning late like this in the ball game, keep trusting him, keep spinning. You know why? Because stats matter late in the game. You want some post? Touchdown, Razorbacks! And the route is on. They're now in really good shape to get back into the win column as they extend the lead here late. 
It's another good decision by the quarterback. You've got to be impressed here. On that one, he finds his tight end. But all game long, whether it's receivers or running backs or tight ends, wherever the best one-on-one -on -one matchup has been, he's been able to take advantage of it, and that's why they've been able to score so many points. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Here comes that Alabama offense. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and gone. much on first down it's second and nine Red 18. Red 18. dropping back it's Milrow floats it out in space he's there to make the stop and they threw it in reverse losing yardage on that play you know this linebacker is a special player because not only is he good making tackles in the open field this guy can cover and you saw a great example of it with that running back on third and long, he has to throw for it. Grabbed over the middle, it's Bernard. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. He simply can't do it, and the referee's caught it. The offense comes back out with a new set of downs after the penalty. The give to the tailback. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Yeah, and this offense, man, it's been a struggle bus. And they just, they haven't clicked yet. They haven't found what they're really, really good at. And I'll tell you this, it's later it's in the fourth quarter, later in the game, obviously. They need to start airing this thing out. we got to get back in this football game, because I don't know if y'all realize this, but we're down by a lot. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Jet sweep to the receiver. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. And that's great defense to stop him short of the first down. It's so hard with a guy that fast to create the right angles, to make sure I keep the ball inside, and then everybody's got to run to the football. Great job by the defense. They've got a good chunk of ground to cover on third and long from the 41. Makes the grab. It's long. And he's to the 48-yard line. That'll be good enough for a first down. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown. That was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm. And what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback. And listen, as a quarterback, you're trying to find the matchup, trying to find who's open. I don't know if anybody was open, but that was not a great thing. Football. I don't know if it was miscommunication, but the ball thrown out of bounds and just on to the next down. To the air. It's Milrow. Going to take a shot. Another interception. This guy just can't find his own players. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. And as a defensive lineman late in the game, man, when you know it's passed, you're pinning your ears back, trying to get to the quarterback, and DBs are trying to do this. Pad them stats, get the INT. Nice job by this D. And Arkansas ready to send out this offense. They unleashed an aerial assault last time. It took them right to the end zone, David. So, Reese, with that drive, I think you've accomplished something you wanted to accomplish. Make this defense think. You put them back on their heels. Now, shoot, Palmer, you might be able to slip a few runs in on this drive to really jack them. Up. Yeah, I like that idea, but I also like the fact that speed kills. They've got it at the receiver position, so if you've got one-on-one -on -one matchups, man, take advantage. And he'll move his way forward to the first down. They'll mark it at the 35. Well, on offense, you've got to love the way your offensive line is playing in this game. They're getting tremendous movement up front. They're climbing into second level and really giving these backs and ball carriers a lot of room to run all game long. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. They'll run it, trying to drain time off the clock. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously 
You can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Wide out in motion. Quarterback quick pass to the receiver. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. Man, the defense, you hold your breath. When this receiver has the football out in space, you have got to make sure you're playing with outstanding pursuit. Nice job there, but as this game goes on, they've got to keep an eye on this guy and make sure they know where he is at all times. They'll try to drive ahead on third and short. And he earns a first down, and boy, did he earn it after taking that lift. Well, they came into this game today knowing that this guy was going to have to leave his mark in this one, Tote in the Rock, and he's done that. He's come up with some big plays, and he continues to do that here late at a juncture where they've got to continue running it if they're going to win. The Razorbacks are moving quickly down the field. Here we go. They'll ride the hot hand. Hard running there. He finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. You got to give the coaching staff credit because they really do focus all season long on situational football with the lead late in the game. If we're on offense, we're trying to stay in bounds. We're trying to bleed the clock. And after ripping off a really nice run, that guy knew I've got to get down. I cannot get pushed out of bounds, cannot get tackled out of bounds. Really, really nice job. Yeah, it's make or break time for this defense now. They got to get a stop. And if that's bringing more bodies in, bringing more beef in, they're running the football right up the gut, right at you. They're not going to throw the football in this situation. Time to be more physical and get this big stop. Okay, right. And the Razorbacks will snap it on first and 10. Goes to the option. The pitch. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. We reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. Ready up. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short game. And the defense is still fighting. They, they haven't had the day that they dreamed of. You know, talking to the coaches coming into the game, like they thought they had a good plan. They'd be ready to attack and, and, and limit some of the damage this offense has done. They haven't done it today, though. They got to go back to the drawing board, figure some things out, because this wasn't a great day. not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. That's a really good stop by the defense, Jason. They need a few more. You've given up a bunch of yards on this drive and a bunch of plays, but all that matters is keeping them off the score. Yeah, it's that bend, don't break mentality you're seeing right now. This is the point where this defense is just And the try is no good. And guys, this will stay a 24-point game. Well, it's been a day to forget if you're this kicker. After that miss, he's now only one for four in this game. The tied offense rolls onto the field. This has been a really disappointing performance, David. No question about it. And here's a fumble way behind the line. And they are fortunate to get the ball back, but unfortunate to have a long well, the offense is able to avoid disaster right there. Problem is they fumbled it, but thankfully they were able to jump back on and not have a turnover. He wants a big play here late. That one will be incomplete, and we are down to 10 seconds to go. And this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put all the facets of defense together. Run defense, pass defense, they've been so good, man. Dialed in, you can tell. They were ready, they were 
were fast. They were physical. They dominated this football game. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. Throws to the tight end. He can't find his man, and the clock stops with six seconds left. And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like, they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't, they haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is, this is one of those days that you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're going to show in the film room that people aren't going to like, but hopefully you can learn from it and do better next time. One more play to pad the stats. Happy with the situation, the quarterback will take a knee. Winning those individual six-second battles every play, time after time after time after time, and that leads to a victory here. And I love when teams go out and play like it's sudden death. Like if they lose the game, their entire season is over. This game wasn't for the national championship, but wouldn't, you wouldn't know that watching this winning team, David. Tremendous effort, tremendous execution. I love competitive people. I love competitive coaches. I love competitive teams that they know that their job is to go out and get a W no matter how, no matter where you play. You want to play in the parking lot? We'll go meet you. 